So Slap Battles just came out with a brand new glove. It is called the Lure Glove. It is a badge glove. What that means is you do need a badge to be able to unlock it. You don't need like a crazy number of slaps. And in fact, I don't usually do videos on those anyway. I only do videos on the badge gloves for the most part. The badge name is Catch Em All and you just need to gather them all up. That's the description. You can do this on private servers. So you don't have to do this on public. You can just do it with friends. Um, so what I recommend is when you're trying to get badge gloves that are allowed on private servers, go to the Slap Battles Discord server server go into the glove grinding channel and then in there you can find people with private server links all day long and join them and you know get their help so like i said this is a badge glove all you need is the badge you don't need like a crazy number of slaps but in order to be able to get this one you do need the leash glove and so the person with the leash glove is the one getting the badge and then you need some friends with three other gloves which i'll explain in a second first how to get the leash glove you do need the colt glove so Colt, essentially, in order to be able to get Leash, you need 14 players on a private server, ideally on a private server, because trying to do this on a lobby in public is painful. You can convince everyone, but there's always that person. There's always that troll griefing everyone who are trying to essentially help each other to get a badge. It's like everyone's trying to help but one person who thinks, you know, the world revolves around them. They don't, they just want to ruin everyone's day. That's essentially because they're selfish. That's just how it works, okay? That's why I recommend going into a private server, get everyone, uh, like at least have a host. That way, if you want to kick someone that's not cooperating, you could do so by just blocking them on Roblox and that kicks them from your private server. That's a real simple tip there. So use a private server, get everyone in there with Colt. And as soon as everyone in there is with Colt, you'll get a leash glove, which is super simple, like I said. Now, as far as how to get the Colt glove, uh, I'm not gonna go into that. There's mittens involved, there's bubbles involved. You can go and search for a video for that on how to get the Colt glove. It's pretty easy to get, but you do need some help similar to this one. Now, once you have the leash glove, you need three other players. One's gonna need to have Kraken, which is obviously kind of a, it's not really a fish, but it's a mythological ocean creature. <laughs> uh, you've got someone with fish, and then you've got to have someone with squid. And what you're going to do as leash is you're going to leash all three of them at once by slapping them. That's how leash works. All you got to do is slap people and you leash them. And then after that, you get the badge and you get the lure glove. Real simple, right? I mean, literally explain this in a few minutes. So super simple to be able to do. You don't really need to do anything else beyond that to get the badge. Now let's go and showcase this thing and how it works. All right, so let's go get lure. It is the final badge over here, or at least the latest badge. Oh, now it says press E to use. They updated it. So it used to say passive there. It's actually an active ability. So I was wondering why they said passive before. So if I smack zombie here, he's going to get a hook on there. And that's the amount of time I have to use the ability to force him to run over to it to release the hook. Um, If he doesn't go over this blue circle, he's going to die. I'll show that after this. But you see how he's just, he's good now. So it's kind of like Bob. So you know how like in Bob, you have to go over here to the, um like it turns all dark and you got to go and like bring him over here. It's kind of like that, but the difference is you got to go to a circle, which is blue. So I'm going to have him hit me. I'll show you that real quick. So he's got 27 seconds, 26 seconds, 25, and he's got to hit his ability. And as soon as he activates the ability, I got to go over to it or else I'm going to die. So I'm going to show that real quick. So go ahead and hit me again, zombie. All right, so 25 seconds. So I'm just going to not go over there and you're going to see it kind of pulses. It doesn't really give you a timer on how fast you need to go, but you can see how fast this like blinks. Basically tells you whether or not you're gonna get eaten by the shark. If you don't, then you get eaten by the shark. I'll show you that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it to him and we're gonna kill him. Um, now, the I think the strat here is to like give it as much time as possible, which makes it kind of interesting because if you don't do it uh, earlier, the more chance that he's gonna, you know, slap you or do something else. Now, you know, there's a chance Oh wait, so you know what? It doesn't matter. He still gets the same amount of time as soon as it activates. Oh, <laughs> he didn't go to it. If you use the ability without any kind of lures, nothing happens. Also, if you get hit by multiple players, you have separate targets you need to go to. So they could all do it at the same time and they can completely troll you because you can't see all the different timers and hooks on your head. And so you have no idea what's going on when you see all the different blue circles popping up everywhere. Like you kind of have to go to all of them. And as a result, you're probably gonna die. But yeah, let's go and um, let's go and smack them. We're going to see another shark kill here because I'm gonna run that right away. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Oh, let's, yeah, we're gonna spawn it pretty far from him. Can we spawn it far from him? Like if he's over there, no, 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 no. And if I slap him though, his timer resets. Can I keep him away from it? 
Yeah, you can keep them away from it too. That's a strat right there. So obviously there's like lots of potential counters here. We could test all those. Oh wait, why am I why am I blinking? No. Dude, how? Wait, 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 wait. He didn't even have a lure on me. How did that work? Wait, what? Oh, he says he slapped me before he died. Okay. Oh, I got an idea. I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm going to put it on the kill block and then die. So he has to go on the kill block. I'm going to run over here and put it on the kill block. I don't know that it's going to work. <laughs> He's like, no. Nah. Right here. Oh, I didn't even die. Oh, man. It didn't put it on the top of it. Can you? I wonder if there's another spot we can use. I wonder if there's like a really funny spot. I mean, it's kind of a big circle. Oh, I could put it on the plate. Hold on. Can I hit him and then jump on the plate and then do it on the plate? Let's try it. Let's try it. All right. So the plate is arriving. Let me go and slap him. I'm going to jump over. We're going to get away. Get away. Get away. <laughs> and then we're going to do it here. <laughs> you can't even get over there. He's going to die. There goes the shark. Yum, 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 yum. Dude, that's a void shark. I like it. All right, so that's not a very realistic kill, okay? That, like, who's gonna do that? No one's gonna do that. But still, it's kind of funny. So Zombie's gonna try out reverse as well as Mega Rock, and we're gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna try to, like, smack him while he's reversed, specifically with lure, and see if I get lured instead. That'd be weird. Okay, he's gonna Mega Rock. All right, so we lured him, and we're gonna do the ability. <laughs> oh! Oh, what? Dude, the shark came up out of the floor and didn't kill him. That's kind of OP, actually. You're slippery now. Oh, you are. Look, he's like sliding around in a weird way. Yeah, he slides a little bit. All right, let's see if he can pull it off again. I don't know. I don't know that he can. Oh, he did. Nice. Oh, he's in the ground. Oh, no, he just got flung to space. All right, so he's going to try reverse now. He's going to activate reverse. I'm going to try to slap him. Okay, so he still gets lured. Let's try it again. But it, instead of uh, reverse on the glove, he's going to reverse on the kill effect. I'm pretty sure it's not going to do a thing. I don't think reverse works for this. All right, I'll just activate it. And then when it's about to kill him, he'll just activate. Oh, I got eaten. <laughs> I got eaten. Dude, that's actually really good. What the heck, man? That's powerful. That's kind of troll. We're going to try it again. No, dude, it works really well. That's a good counter. You don't even expect it. Like they could be like clear across the way, hit reverse, and then you get eaten by the shark. All right, so he's going to use Rojo, AKA Rojo, which is the proper way to say it, people. Look it up. It's the right way to say it. Say Rojo in Spanish, Rojo. Rojo, Rojo. Everyone wants to call it Rojo. It's not Rojo, I'm sorry. I know it's kind of spelled that way, but you got to look it up. All right, so we got to We got to do it. We got to do it. He's going to get a little bit of a uh, invincibility here. I'm going to go and call it. And then he's going to trigger his ability right at the last second, I guess. There we go. He's going to get eaten. Oh, he got eaten anyway. Wait, he's still down there. Wait, what? why are there blocks like that in the sky? Oh, he's stuck. Because uh, it gives you, Rojo gives you like invincibility and he's stuck in the ground. What a hacker. Look it. He just got yeeted in space, didn't he? He got yeeted in space, man. That's actually pretty funny. Let's try this again. Let's try it again. I wonder if he'd be better off like being in a tree so he doesn't get like pulled into the ground and stuck. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it outside of the ground. Like, um, like on a tree would probably be better. So he's kind of out because see how far he gets pulled down. It'd be better if he was in a tree. <laughs> he's hacking, man. Reporting. All right, he's going to get in the tree now, so that way he doesn't, like, he's going to go as high as he can. Maybe if he's able to. I don't know if he's able to. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, no. Dude, you better get in there. All right, there he goes. There he goes. Boom. Yeah, look, look, look. He's right here. He survived. Dude, he survived it. Now, who's going to do that, though? Really? Are you really going to do that? Slippery again. Yeah, he gets all slippery from the shark, though. Look, he's even stuck in animation because technically he's supposed to be dead. <laughs> he's he's literally a zombie. He's literally a zombie. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I can't even hit him. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where is he? Where'd he go? What happened? <laughs> I think he's invincible after this, like permanently, because he's supposed to be dead. Look. Okay, now he's here. Let's wait for him to pop up. What? L, 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 L. Dude, he's stuck in animation. Okay, yeah, we can still hit him. Anyway, that's how you get it. Let me know what you think of this glove in the comments below. It was pretty easy, like I said. But you have to get that leash, which is really annoying. So good luck with that. Oh, I just hit him. Till next time, happy grinding. Peace.